All right, guys. Um, I'm John. This is my channel, and uh, we are between episodes. And I thought I would just, uh, I don't know, talk to you guys about what's going on. So um, right now we're sort of looking for a house, kind of, not really, but um, I'm in a temporary area for this recording studio, whatever you want to call it. It's in the workout room in the basement. Pretty cold, fucking A. But I got beer. I got a great hazy IPA beer here. And you guys know how much I like hazy IPAs. All right, so we just beat um, Lies of P. And uh, that game was was really good. I would say that during the... Uh, I have a wrap-up about the game there in the playlist. I would say it's an, it's an 8 out of 10, a solid 8. Uh, there are a lot of good moments. There's some really annoying things like Jiminy telling me where to look, what to do, where to go. I don't need that. It's a Souls game. You don't need that. You figure it out on your own. All right, so um, got the wife. She's uh, she's has this uh, huge deadline. She's putting up a whole new portal interactive portal for a company. Everything is coming together. You know why? Because she's brilliant. And she's awesome. And she's like the best thing ever. So I hope you guys have someone like that in your life. Uh, someone that you can look up to who doesn't think that they're all that. Um confident with the things that they're that that they know about that they're confident with but then can take criticism and uh and advice for the things that they're not i mean what kind of person is that right a great person is what that is and that's her that's her so um, I don't know what you guys are doing today, but today is Friday, and I hope you have a really great Friday, because I love Fridays. Fridays are fucking great. We're going to be playing some more. I think I'm going to start another another uh, playthrough of Liza P, like, right after this, but, you know, the way things have been going uh, since I've been recording, have it, it's been really... It's been really fun. It's been really fun recording uh, my gameplay. And uh, in the beginning, I didn't really know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, dude. I still... It's a work in progress. It, it totally is a work in progress. But, you know, um, I'm not really good at creating stuff. I'm not really good at, uh, you know, doing any of that. I, I like to play the games. I like to talk. I I don't know. I guess that's my super, that's my superpower. We, you know. All right. So that's the way it is on this channel. Uh, you're going to get uh, opinion. You're going to get pretty much my opinion on everything. We're going. Uh, we're in fall now. Autumn is my favorite time of year. Uh, it's just beautiful outside. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Uh, this fall, so I'm going to be around to create videos and to see all of the trees in the area change. Um, it's just it's so nice. The weather turns out to be so nice. And what I what I plan on doing is when we buy a house, I plan on having a a porch that's closed in, so that I can play. And record outside. Yeah. How is that going to work? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it works out just fine. Uh, but I don't really know. So we're looking for another place. We're going to keep this place. Uh, it depends on... I mean, we're going to keep this place... I don't know how long, but we're going to keep it... Uh, after we buy another place, especially if we have to do some work on it or something like that. 
So, you know, we're looking at a couple of places. We're going to look at a, uh, another place this weekend. A place that has literally almost four times the square footage of this place. It's just me and my wife. My wife and I. Better grammar. In this house, it's my wife and I. That's it. No dogs. No cats. No children, no visitors. I don't know anybody. I don't have any friends. Well, we have friends. It's just, it, it's, we just, the house that we just went and saw, and then um, we didn't win the bid. We couldn't. They paid cash, the people who, so we, could, we couldn't win. There's no way I'm coming up with that much money cash. I'm just not going to do it. Just, I mean, I didn't want it that bad. If we wanted it that bad, we would have done it, but we're not. That would have stretched things, okay? Don't like to stretch things. So, you know, if we were, if we were there, though, you know, it's big. You know, this other place is even bigger. And this is not a single family home. This is a town home. Not a single family home. We don't want that. We don't want to mow and fucking snow blow. Did all that for years. Ended up giving away my snow blowers to my family, did different snow blowers, riding ones, things I paid way too much money for. They're great. Now they go down and they they like move the snow for the whole area, right? My dad loves it. So, I mean, that's good, right? I feel, I feel good that, you know, that stuff goes to good people. But anyway, so um, this, this uh, video has really no, um, no point, no nothing. This is just a touching on topics video with no topic, okay? I mean, I can make one up. Let's make one up. What do you want to make up? Uh, okay, so I plan on playing um, the Resident Evil DLC. I plan on playing the, uh, the Last Expanse episode. I was going to do that tonight, but I really want to play more Lives of P now that I've discovered some things and I'm better at doing the Perfect Guard and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to start that, and I'm going to do it on the channel, because why not? It doesn't cost me anything to record. It doesn't cost me anything to record. I'm already playing, so what's the point? Oh, sorry, sorry. What's... I don't know why you wouldn't just record fucking everything. Right? I just don't understand it. Anyway, so... Um, that's what I plan to do. Um, I picked up some really great bottles of wine. Uh, we're going to be partaking in that over the weekend. Jenny's, uh, my wife... Her um, her project is going to be done. Her portal is going live tonight, and the, it's it's uh, there's going to be a celebration. You betcha. So uh, I'm I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the things she's doing. Uh, you know, we had some long nights this week where we were up for fourteen hours, a fourteen hour day, up until. You know, I mean, when you're when you're 50 and you're you're awake at 1 a.m., that's a thing. That's a thing. Listen, OK, so here's a good topic. Why does your TV turn off to save power? What are you going to save? 13 cents a year? What the fuck? It's so annoying. It's more annoying than just paying the 13 cents or whatever it is. Fucking stop turning off, bitch. I don't understand it. I don't understand, uh, you know, all that saving power when, when it's minuscule amount. You know. If it's actually substantial, okay. But it's not. Now, over over the course of, uh, I don't know, 
say 50,000 people bought this TV. And uh, that then adds up to, I don't know how they would get these metrics, but that adds up to much more money uh, or energy not spent per year. That's good. But how do you get that, right, without privacy things? Oh, I know when you're on. I know I know when you're watching TV. No, you can't know that. Privacy, right? Is that a privacy thing? I mean, it is a privacy thing, but is that a, like, can, can people who make TVs um, and the TV is connected to the Internet, can they say, okay, well, I want to gather information about uh, when your TV is on. Can they do that? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I'm reading shit in the in the in the uh, on the internets all the time about privacy and this and that. And these people are getting this, and Google's getting that, and you know whatever. I don't fucking care at this point. I mean, everybody can see everything there is to know about everybody else. So why do we even care anymore? Oh, we take privacy seriously. If it's if it's my medical history, that's one thing. If it's my preferred TV time, I don't really care. So they could be they could be gathering that info and then they could be setting it to whatever government agency is asking for it. I don't know. I th I think that's just fine. I I don't know. I. I got nothing to say on the matter. Nothing. Anyway. So I got this IPA. This is a new IPA. This one right here. Look at it. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. It is. And uh, I am partaking in quite a bit of it lately. It's just so good. And it would be better if it didn't have as much alcohol in it as it does. But it does, which also is a good thing. So it's a good thing. It's a bad thing. So if you guys are into beer or if you're into any kind of spirits, you, you, knew, you understand that um, there's a time for that and there's a time that you need to step away from that, right? So... Um, one of the one of the people on YouTube that I watch a lot is his his name is Ralphie and he posts videos from his bothy which is a like a a structure I don't know how to say this it's a it's like in Scotland it's like if you have a like a structure in the middle of nowhere and there's a and there's bad weather you could go there to seek refuge i don't know any other way to say it um so i think that's that's not the definition of a bothy but that is what it is so so you can deck out your bothy obviously if you had one but so Ralphie does these re whiskey reviews and other spirits, but mainly single malt whiskeys, Scotch whiskey, Irish whiskey, not as much Irish as Scotch. Um, but anyway, um, he does all of his uh, videos from his Bothy in the Irish Sea and the Island of Mon, on the Island of Mon. So that is where he is doing that stuff. And he talks about tolerance. He talks about not only the whiskeys. He talks about so many things. I am someone who is a big Ralphie fan. And I believe that he has a lot of life lessons to teach. So as you get older, you accumulate um, knowledge. You accumulate experience. And especially if you're somebody who is, uh, uh, has an opportunity to travel, 
has an opportunity to to experience a lot of different things. They have a lot of things banked in their brains, a lot of things that that um, if if they don't tell anybody when they die, it just goes away, right? So um, all of those experiences and things like that's the reason why people write books. One of the reasons why people write books. So um, the nice thing about the internet and all this other shit is that if Ralphie in the middle of nowhere wants to talk about his experience with whiskey when he was 20 and now he's 60, he can do it. Or me talking about whatever, when I was younger, I can do it. And it reaches people and people get to see it. People get to learn from it and experience that. And if they were to go and reenact in some fashion, whatever they're talking about, they would have experience to know what possibly could happen. So he does these whiskey reviews and he does these other other reviews, but he talks about different things. He talks about the reason why um, a certain whiskeys are selling the packaging involved in the selling, what should be on the label, what shouldn't be on the label, why people do what they do in marketing, and why certain distilleries are just looking for people to buy their shit rather than looking to actually produce a fine quality spirit. He talks about that stuff. And uh, it's really valuable information, especially if you're if you're thinking about going into and 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 uh, learning a little bit about that, or if it's just you know you're looking for some entertainment, he's got a really good accent, a really thick accent. It's great. It's great. It's fabulous. He does a great bang up job. Bang up job. So um, I'm not quite sure what I bring to the table yet, but. You know, guys, if I could say something and you learn something from that and it makes your life better, or I say something and it makes you laugh for a minute, it already made your life better, right? Fuck. I mean, I didn't have that growing up. I mean, how much, how much, you know, okay, so you're having a bad day. You're having a, a bad week. You're You're having a fight with your significant other. You're... And you're having a fight with your parents. You're having a fight with your si other siblings. You're having a, a bad day at work. Whatever the case may be. And you can find some kind of enjoyment and some kind of joy from watching one of my videos. Like when I'm going off on the fucking last boss of that game and just saying it's bullshit. Right? That was bullshit. Not really, but... Um, you know, that's, that's the reason why I'm doing this. Actually, the reason why I'm doing this is why not? Why not? I mean, I, I don't like know if no one would know who I was. No one's going to know who I was if I don't get any more subscribers, but no one knows who I am at all in, in the, like the whole world on the internet. Right. So if, if somebody could actually come across a video, watch it and go, oh, or I didn't think of that or that's cool or laugh. I mean, guys, that's that's worth so much. So we talk about that kind of thing, like value you place on certain things, value that I place on this beer. Value that I place on this fucking TV I bought, on my phone I bought, the case that on the phone I bought, whatever. You place value on all that stuff. It's a, it's, you may not associate it with a dollar, but you may, you may associate it with a dollar value. And you may not. You may just associate it with, uh, okay, here's an example. I need to go to the store to buy a whole bunch of shit. And I don't want to go to the store and buy a whole bunch of shit. I'd rather be working or playing these games and recording it. All right. 
Hear me out. Okay, well, they have a way of having somebody else do that shopping for you and bring it to your house. It will cost you $100. You're going to spend, you're already going to spend two to three hundred dollars on all the shit you need. And then that person is going to get a hundred dollars additional. So it's going to cost you four hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars for your shit that it would cost you if you went there yourself. And then an extra hundred for somebody else to do it for you. Okay. Hear me out. If you were to go and do it yourself, it would take two hours of your life to do it. Okay. It would also mean that you have to deal with a shit ton of people. It would also have to, you would also have to go there. Okay. So you take those things into consideration and you place a value on all of that. Right. And then you make up your mind whether it, that's worth a hundred dollars or not. If it's worth a hundred dollars, that shit just shows up at your door, right? If you don't think it's worth that much money, and it could be something a lot simpler. It could be like you want to go to the to the regular grocery store and it might cost you twenty bucks. You get a, a hundred fifty to two hundred dollars worth of groceries, hundred fifty dollars worth of groceries. Cost you 20 bucks for somebody to go get it? Okay. So you place value on that. How do I feel today? What do I want to do? Am I working? Is my significant other working? Uh, do I want to go? Am I doing something? Is, do I feel okay? Am I sick? You know, all those things go into that, into that, into that value. You don't, you don't just do it just because you've always done it, right? This is another thing that I say a lot on this channel. You don't don't do something because you've always done it. Think about what you're doing and adjust accordingly. If you are a Republican and your Republican nomination is an asshole, don't vote for him. Does that mean you're a Republican? Well, sh sure. If you want to label yourself, you don't need to label yourself. No one needs a label. But if you want to say you mainly go towards Republican type things, I don't know anything about politics, by the way. You're not not Republican just because you didn't vote for the nominee, right? You're not not Republican just because you think the dude running is an asshole and you can't vote for him. So you use your brain, right? Use your brain for all of these things. Use your brain for like, for that, that, that instance where you're like, man, I need, you know, I need paper towels. I need toilet paper in mass because I don't want to go again. I need a, like all this other shit. I need uh, whatever. And I just don't want to go and get it. Okay, well, you don't have to. It'll be $100 for me to go get it for you. All right. Let me think about that for a second. Is that worth it? And you say yes or no based on your your own value you're placing on it. So that's what I'm saying. Everybody has a value. Everybody has an idea of what something is worth. Whether or not that's actually... Um, it just fucking turned off again. I swear to God. It's back. Anyway, so whether or not that's actually, like, legit. The example I gave before was that we have a dental customers, and the dentist is like, I need a sensor. Digital sensor, the thing that takes the x-rays. You know, you apply radiation to it. Boom, you have a little thing. It's just this thing on a USB cable, little black thing. You stick it in your mouth with a little... Holder thing, they shoot the radiation and boom, you got an x-ray. 
I need one of those, the dentist says. I'm like, okay, it's $9,000. He's like, fuck, I don't need one of those. I'm not paying $9,000 for that shit. What are you, crazy? I'm like, okay. You have, in your mind, what you think one of those should cost. Right? Just like I have in my mind what I think one of those should cost. Especially what you need to think about is how that's going to affect your workflow. Is it going to make things easier? Is it going to mean that you can take more x-rays more quickly, more accurately, uh, whatever? You know, that goes into it. It goes into it. If you're a smart person, you will take in a, that into consideration. Now, the other thing you have to take into consideration is $9,000. So it's 10000 Okay. $10,000 for that uh, sensor. Great. I'm not fucking paying for $10,000. Okay. All right. All right, doctor. You're going to continue continue to use the phosphor, phosphor plate scanners? Yeah. I'll just use those. They've, they've always worked. Okay. All right. So let me ask you this. How much money do you charge for a full mouth x-ray? Yeah. $250. Okay. All right. $250 for a full mouth x-ray. How many full mouth x-rays do you do? Meaning all the teeth and the top and the bottom, you know? Oh, I do maybe five to 10 a week. Maybe some weeks I do more. Okay. So say you do 10 a week, $2,500 a week. See where I'm going with this? $5,000 you make on those in two weeks, $7,500 in three weeks, $10,000 in four weeks. You make your money back in a month. And the sensor still works after a month. And if it doesn't, they send you a new one for free. Okay. So you have the, the, uh, the, the quick off the cuff response to something. Oh my god, I'm fucking paying ten thousand dollars for a sensor. What the fuck are you crazy? And then I say something like that, and they're like, "Oh, it's not so bad. I'll take two. All right, all right. I'm here for you, right?" It, it's it's insane. It's insane if you do not take in all of the facts. Take in all of the facts. If you're a if you're in politics, if you're if you are if you are a Republican or you are a Democrat or whatever, right? And you love the labels and you will always vote blue or red or whatever fucking shit is. I don't do much shit with fucking politics bullshit anyway you 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 love it you love to dabble with it you love to do it you love to talk it whatever i will always vote democrat or republican and then you get a fucking idiot in there who's just running right or you get somebody you don't agree you don't agree with anything but the fact that you're democrat means you will not see those things or gloss over them. No, 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 no. You know, you do yourself. You, you oh, don't do that. Look at it, realize what it is and make an educated decision, a mature decision. Vote like that do whatever you do in life like that if a sensor is ten thousand dollars and you're like fucking a no and you're a dentist think about it for a minute before you just fly off the handle when you're going to vote don't vote for a dude who's a murderer just because he's a democrat
I'm not saying anybody's a murderer, but I hope not. But what if he was? Well, I always vote I always vote Democrat, Democrat. So I'm always going to vote for him. No. You vote for the person who matches up best with what you believe. Just like anything else in life. Everything else in life. Where everybody, everybody is trying to put you in a... A... A, like, one of those fucking tackle boxes with the fucking drawer. Okay, you go in that drawer. You go in that drawer. No. I don't want to label. Don't label me, bitch. I don't fit into your fucking box. I don't. I don't. I will vote, and I will do things in my life based on what I think is best. That's it. That is it. And I am an educated... I'd like to think I'm a smart guy, but maybe, eh. but I will vote and I will do the things in my life that I think is best for me and mine. That's it. I will do, I will look at what's happening and say, hey, that's fucking crazy. That may benefit me right now, but it's not going to benefit the whole a little bit later. So no, we're not buying that. I'm not buying that. Don't let anyone put a label on you. Don't let anyone put a label on you. Don't ever put a label on yourself. Be label-less. Be like, maybe, we'll we'll have to see. Guys, you are your own person. You are your own person. You do things... And you make your decisions based on what you believe, not what someone else does. Everyone loves to tell you fucking what to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just this week alone, I could tell you. My God. People pushing. I call them pushers. So anybody trying to push anything on you, fuck. Fuck them. Fuck them and they're pushing. I know what you're trying to do. I know. I know what you're doing. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it in your conversation. I know what you're doing. I know what you're trying to do. And you think you're good at it? No. And it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm not buying your shit. Come on. You know? Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't even know what it was about. Me bitching and moaning? Maybe. I don't know. Next time, we'll talk about why reality TV is really bad for you. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and we'll see you soon.